What's cracking YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about more woke SJW foolishness. It's getting straight up nuts out there. We all know that. We're here to talk about a few different topics. One of them is about a TDS sufferer. They just went full tart. Can't control their behavior and ends up looking like a dickhead. Plus, we also got fatties. We got baldies. <laughs> we got Steven Seagal. We got, uh, you know, we got Kate Blanchett. Two of those stories are not woke or SJW, but I heard about them and I had to talk about them because they're bloody hilarious. But as I always say, first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications because I'm struggling here. Hat that you keep wearing, that red hat that says make America great again. So you might yeah. as well just put a swastika on the hat. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? The TDS sufferer. And this guy here with the dog, he's upset. He's crying. <laughs> Not quite, but he's visibly agitated. Let's check it out. Take one to no one? Why don't you try it? No, no thank you, my girls. What? Trip, he's no, thank you, girls. He'll be in jail by the time he gets to record. Oh, you didn't like oh, the police. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. They're angry people. No. There Whoa. is no angry people. Oh, oh, calm down, mate. Look, you already got Palumboism, okay? All the body mass goes towards the gut, whereas the arms and the legs become extremely thin. It's not a pretty sight. And by the way, keep an eye on the guy's dog. They're oh, angry. Lovely. You can go to jail, angry sir. people. Oh, like, good. Sir. I'm sure they're in favor of you causing a bunch of hopefulness. Poor thing. I'll have a release sign for you. No. That's go. assaulting what you're doing. Go. He bloody just carrying that dog around. That dog doesn't even want to be there. He's trying to, trying to hide his bloody face from this bloody idiot here acting like a toe rag. Going by the polls, this guy is in the minority. Even in New York, it seems like they're on the Trump bandwagon. Everybody's struggling. People are getting desperate too. That brings the crime up. When you get poverty and you get a bunch of people that come here that get actually more benefits than the people that have been here, then what? This is real America. This right here. People are paying 30, 40 percent more. We were just going to buy Windex to clean the, <laughs> clean the windshield. Everything is expensive. Everybody is hurting. People need to see that their leader cares about them. And Donald Trump does care about them. And that's why he's coming here. Why do you want to see Donald Trump tomorrow? Well, Donald Trump is the man. Everybody wants to see Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is the man. I think he appears to be the only person who can stop this crazy leftist nut jobbery that's going on. But let's move on to celebrities here for a second. Just to give you an idea of how out of touch these Hollywood elites are. Here's Kate Blanchett. Listen to this. I'm white, I'm privileged, I'm middle class, and I think, you know, one can be accused of having a bit of a white saviour complex. But to be perfectly honest, um, my interaction with, uh, the, uh, with refugees in the, in the film, in the, in the field, and also in um, resettled environments has totally changed my perspective on, on the world. Okay. She said... She is middle class. In what fucking planet is she middle class? She's worth about 95 million and claiming to be middle class. You stupid idiot. Shut your goddamn mouth, you privileged git. But let's stay with the Hollywood elites and they don't come any more elite than Steven Seagal. He is Hollywood royalty... <laughs> Hollywood royalty at this stage, no doubt about that. And then I saw this. In 2004, Steven Seagal released a dance hall song called Strut, in which he sings in a fake Jamaican accent, and his first line is, quote, Me one de punani. <laughs> Me one de punani. And I was thinking to myself, there is no way that this is real, right? There's no chance. This has to be a meme or something. But then, um, this is Steven Seagal. Yes. Yes, that was... 
Steven Seagal. But, but after this, it's been confirmed that he can no longer defend the United States if there's an invasion. You'll have to turn to your military. Just stand there, let's get to it. Strike the pose, there's nothing 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 to it. Strike the pose, strike the pose, strike the pose, strike the pose, strike the pose. This is uh the US military in 2024. And I mean, would you really trust a military like this to defend you? I still can't believe the military is letting people do this stuff. Like, if someone does this, they should be out the door, you know, within the day. They should be gone. Does this make the military look weak or strong? We all know the answer. But let's go to the Navy. The Navy still may be able to protect the United States. Hello, I'm Admiral Rachel Levine. This Black History Month, I'm pleased to partner with OMH in advancing better health, through better understanding for black communities. Climate change is having a disproportionate effect on the physical and mental health of black communities. No, nope, but looks like the Navy can no longer defend the United States. It's done, it's dusted, buried, cremated. It's gone. It is gone completely. Because if they can be represented in some form by this person here, it's over. Right? It is completely over. This is an insult. And what they're saying here is complete bullshit. Why would climate change disproportionately affect the mental health and physical health of black communities? Why? And one more thing in regard to that person. Look, we all know the truth, okay? No one is buying for a second what they're expecting us to believe, okay? Not one single person believes, believes what that person wants us to believe about them. Not one person. But it's not only Trump who is the last hope for America. We're going to give a shout out to DeSantis in Florida. I know he gets a lot of criticism, but this guy is doing great work in Florida and he's bringing up great policies on a daily, like this one here. Breaking. Florida Transportation Secretary Jared Perdue mandates Bridges Lights to display red, white and blue for the entire summer. This year, lights on the Acosta Bridge will not be rainbow for Pride Month, orange for gun safety awareness, or red, black, and green for Juneteenth. According to a social media post, the secretary made the move in celebration of Freedom Summer, a July sales tax holiday signed by the governor. But for those that drive over the Acosta Bridge every day, they're wondering about inclusivity put some variety. variety in there that lets us know it's it's uh... let's be serious here no one gives a rat's ass about inclusivity if you're dri if you're driving over a bridge you don't give two shits about it right just stop with the bullshit let's get back to sanity now we've got this one now <laughs> now we've got this one here okay apparently people are mocking this guy because of the way he looks okay how dare they and it shows there's some of the um the comments he's received, like this one, this is next level stuff. I want to ask you something, and I want you to be honest with yourself. Only the people who thought about what I'm about to say comment. If you comment some horse shit, I'm not going to take you seriously. <laughs> that head and shoulders one. <laughs> And this one, bro, <laughs> never be. <a> <laughs> no, no. Right, this is. Look, how dare these people are rude. These people making these comments. How dare they? Serious. If you comment some dumb shit, I'm not gonna take you serious. <laughs> but I really want you to ask yourself: Did I fail you as a creator? Who, who are we? Who are we to judge this guy, okay? If, if he has no neck, right? So what? This one here about the boss. And someone says there, Why does Bruce Springsteen look like a lesbian news anchor from CNN? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happened to the boss. 
was the boss now is um i was gonna say a d word but i can't that's what's going on hope you're having a good day as always and as i always say get the peons the hell out of my stinking house